is networking as a VTuber actually a thing? Because I feel like I see VTubers complain about this all the time without actually understanding what it is that they are complaining about. Which is kind of funny because I remember a while back when there was this viral meme going around where VTubers were arguing with each other over friendship and collabs and how some VTubers were under the assumption that if you both collab then you're automatically friends whereas other VTubers were like not every collab automatically means friendship. And this concept of business relationships caused a massive uproar in the VTubing scene. And I feel like the reason why a lot of VTubers don't understand what networking actually means is because people will inter exchange this term with the word friendship. And these are two very different things. I saw a VTuber clip of Giga the other day where she was giving advice the other day on networking as a VTuber. She expressed how she was really afraid of being perceived as a cloud chaser. So whenever she interacted with people, she just stayed chill, acted normal, and didn't have any expectations when becoming friends with someone. She said she let this stuff happen naturally. And while I think that this clip gave some really good advice for anyone, especially if you're socially awkward, I still think the word networking is being used incorrectly in this case because I think it confuses other creators when trying to figure out how to properly network. And the way I see it is this. There are two different ways you could go about this. One is networking to acquire business associates by making everyone aware of who you are. This is more professional. This is how you share information with other creators and get proper unbiased feedback on your own content. This is the stuff that I think about when I participate in content group studies or when I talk to certain content creators to plan these like really big collabs. Because yes, I do collab with people who are not necessarily my friend. And I'll explain about that more in a little bit. Now, the other way of networking, again, it shouldn't be called that, is cultivating your own friend group of people you really trust and can rely on. These are the type of people you can talk about your everyday life with. These are the people you can just chill and relax and voice chat with. Sure, you can collab and make content with them, but that isn't the main focus of being their friend. Because if it is, then um, that's not really your friendship because that would kind of feel one-sided. I feel like a lot of VTubers want this option versus the other because a lot of people VTube as a hobby or they do this to make friends because VTube is a very socializing type of activity. It becomes really messy when you talk to someone and they aren't clear about their intentions with you. And this is why so many people are afraid of clout chasers. I seriously can't believe that Giga of all people is afraid of being seen as like a clout chaser, but I totally get why. In that clip, she kept expressing the importance of just being normal and not acting too formal, which is true if you're trying to just make friends and only make friends. However, However, if you're trying to do this in a professional and business-like way, then trying to be normal and pretending like you care about that person is very disingenuous. And this is what sparks that whole clout chasing red flag thing because it's very difficult to tell who actually cares about you versus someone who just wants to use you. I can't tell you how many times I've been shocked and disappointed when I found out someone who I thought was my friend was just actually using me. And here's the thing. I mentioned earlier, I don't just collab with friends. Sometimes I'll collab with friends, but for the most part, I do collabs on the premise of it being more of a business and for networking. Because a lot of my friends are not content creators, which means the content that we all make together when we hang out is, um... It's not good and it's not entertaining to watch. I also don't want to put that kind of pressure on my friends just because I'm a content creator doesn't mean that they have to be too. Now, I do have friends that are content creators here and I think that's just like the best of both worlds in terms of friendship and networking because you both just kind of get each other, you know? Especially since we're all just doing the same thing. So how can you be friends with someone like this or how do you network in general? Be very clear on your intentions and that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be like, hi, I want to collab with me business associates. Like, no. If you want to collab with someone that you're not that close with, then make sure you have a very good reason to have that collab and actually provide value to that collab. Because here's the thing, not everyone makes for a good collab partner. Some people might do amazing by themselves, but when they collab with others, they lack zero collab etiquette and the entire collab just feels awkward. And just so you know, if you feel awkward in the entire collab, then uh, there's a good chance that chat also feels awkward watching the collab. Now, if you wanna collab with people to meet others and make friends, then I suggest joining a Discord community, whether that's a streamers or mutual interests you have like a video game don't just show up and be like yo i'm looking for someone to collab with like get to know the people in the community that you're joining and don't make everything about you because um nobody cares about you especially since you didn't give them a reason to care about you and you want to know what the best way is to get people to care about you by listening and actually showing genuine interest in that other person first it's like what giga said if you want to form a connection with someone, whether it's professional or casual, then just don't be weird. Be clear with your intentions and prove it with your actions. I've talked about this in another video, but if you're trying to grow as a VTuber, then don't be surprised when people think you're sus when you say things like, oh, I'm here to make friends 
or how you want to make friends because you're lonely but then like when people try to reach out to you you just kind of ghost everyone or you only talk to people who have clout like i've seen so many vtubers express their griefs with people making those types of tweets asking for friendship and then only replying to people with a high follower account like that can make you look very sussy and disingenuous if you want me to talk more about good social etiquette for collabs then let me know in the comments on any questions you have about it and i'll make a video about it in the future i hope this video could be helpful for you today i've been seeing a lot of positive comments about these little advice bits and i'm thinking about starting back up my ask mara yume series where i'll base an entire video around questions that you ask me and of course if you're part of my youtube membership or patreon then your questions will automatically be included too but i'm not sure how i should go about it since uh q a videos typically don't do well on youtube at least not for me so what do you suggest that i do to go about that kind of content let me know and maybe i'll feature your suggestion in another video thanks for watching and remember everything reminds you of something bye Oh, and also, I saw someone the other day completely shitting on me and disregarding my advice that I gave in my other video, all because I pronounced the word debut as debut. So, to that person, I just want to say, why don't you go fuck?